Morning everybody, hope everybody's well and positive. It's a fragrant chalk here with another honest opinion. Today's honest opinion, as you can see, I was looking about in the reviews, uh, cheap hidden gems, and this popped up. Porsche design, it's called Titan. Uh, it was released in 2012, it's a woody aromatic. Um, Veronic Nyberg is the perfumer. I think that's how you pronounce her name. The notes in this are grapefruit, mint, pepper, basil, musk, lavender, woody notes, geranium and cedar and amber. This, as I say, was, was a couple of reviewers reviewing this. Can't can't remember if it was gent sense, there was a couple of them. Anyway, I thought I would buy it. I got this one off Fragrance X. Uh, this is a 50ml. I think I got this for it was like I can't it was like twenty dollars, no even twenty dollars. Shop around if you're gonna get this. Um if you go in Natino or I think it's Natino it's got it in Britain. They're a wee bit dearer, they're nearly thirty pound or like twenty pounds for thirty mls, fragrance X. Don't be put off because it's in the states. They're very very fast at shipping. They're very cheap for some, or aftershaves or colognes. You just need to shop around. This is one of the ones that you'll get a good deal on, and they're very fast. As I say, they always send you a wee sample or something as well. Um, and the shipping is paid, so you don't have to pay any uh, other bills when it comes in. Or the postman gives you a letter to go and get it and you need to pay another bill. Uh, the shipping's already paid. I think all on all in, it's probably less than £20 for 50ml in Fragrance X, whereas compared to Natino and maybe something in Britain, you're going to be paying nearly 30 So, I mean, don't get me wrong. This is nice. I've got it in my hand. The first blast you put on yourself, it is a bit alcohol. It, it don't, you know, obviously you give it a couple of seconds to settle you never sniff right away although there's some that are quite pleasant right away Um, always give it a couple of seconds because if you if you first blast you smell it you, it does something to your nose and you don't get a real true smell of the stuff Um, but let it settle Um, after about 30 seconds no even that and it is quite pleasant and this lasts long the longevity on this stuff is quite long lasting you get the grapefruit, you definitely get the mint. It's a wee, it's smooth once it settles. You get definitely a wee, you get the musk that smooths it down. You get a wee bit of lavender and pepper there. But it is, it's, it's a cheapy alternative to something that you would wear this, these months. It's suitable for the spring and the summer. I would say any time, but it's more a summer, a warm weather scent. As I say, it's I'm not saying it's fantastic by any means, um, but it's better than the hidden gem of Secret by Louis Cardine, which I was very disappointed with. Although when you put Louis Cardine on, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> when you put it on, it doesn't smell good when, to your nose, but the wafts you get is actually better. So it's actually a better smell that you're getting around you rather than from you if that makes sense but this is this is okay i mean i've smelled a lot worse and a lot more expensive it's worth a try for some people if they're looking for a kind of hidden gem as i say it's okay it's not fantastic it's no groundbreaking but it's out there it's reasonably priced it's worth a try okay <coughs> Sorry, no long up. The long lie. But I hope everybody's safe and well and be positive. And thanks to all the new sus subscribers to my channel. I'm nearly at the 100. I'm pushing for the 100. That'll be a milestone for me. Anyway, I hope everybody's a good day. Bye for now.